YouTube, it's your boy Above Average Code here, and today we tackle the topic of SBMM or skill based matchmaking. We're gonna talk about what the heck it is for those of you that are perhaps living under a rock. We're gonna talk about why it's a problem in modern gaming, and most importantly, how I think we can maybe fix this SBMM issue we're having. Now, guys, SBMM is skill based matchmaking, it's no secret at this point. If you play really good in lobbies, you're going to get really hard lobbies. If you play really bad in lobbies, you get lower lobbies, basically. Uh, very rarely in modern gaming do you just have one consistent skill throughout all of your games. And this is a really, really big complaint of many casual gamers in the modern gaming landscape, especially here on Black Ops 6. Um... Just to paint a little bit of a picture for you here, Black Ops 6 skill-based matchmaking is pretty much on par with any other game's skill-based matchmaking, but for some reason, I feel like A, you get more hard lobbies in a row after you perform really well, and then I realize that you get a really low drop in the overall skill in the game, and then once you play, inevitably play good in this lower skill game, you shoot right back up to those higher skills, and it becomes a little bit of a blender, especially for the camera grind which leads me to why is SBMM even a problem guys I think the main argument for why skill-based matchmaking is so trash is because it always feels like you have to play to your best possible potential to even be able to compete in a lobby because let's be real here guys are you having more fun going 20 and 10 or perhaps 20 and 18 in a lobby to win the game or are you having more fun going 5 and 20 every single game? I think we're all going to say that we have more fun going 20 and 10. Um, so the argument is, to get that 20 and 10 in most of these lobbies that you're being put in, guys, you got to scoot forward, you got to eat your screen, and you have to play to your potential. However, when you are in a casual mode like face-off, team deathmatch, or any of the modes, domination, I don't care... You don't want to be playing like that all the time. Sometimes you are lounged back. Sometimes you are perhaps under the influence of some alcohol. I don't know. But you are not sitting there eating your screen, jacked up on caffeine, and going crazy in these lobbies. However, that's what you're getting in these casual game modes, which pretty much leaves no place for ranked. In the old days, guys, if you were just chilling and you just wanted to play against some casual competition and be a casual gamer... You played casual game modes, and then if you wanted to sweat, you wanted to pretend like you're a pro, you're jacked up on all that caffeine, you jump into the ranked, uh, the, whatever the ranked playlist may be at the time, and that is kind of where you got your competitive fix, and you kind of had two separate places, but now you still have ranked, at least not yet in Black Ops 6, but we're getting it soon, but casual also feels like ranked. So this now leaves no place that you can go, sit back, and just have some of that 20 and 10 fun each game and just sit back and play. Now, make no mistake, that argument obviously sounds great, but then you wonder where the lower level players are because if you are going 20 and 10 in every single lobby, you know, who's the one going 10 and 20 in every single lobby so that you're able to have that kill-death ratio? And I think this is why modern devs feel like SBMM needs to be ramped up so much to protect the people that are kind of getting destroyed in every lobby. Um, I mean, obviously you want to get better at the game and you want to just improve, but if a player is getting destroyed every single game in every single lobby, then that kind of leads to players not wanting to play your game, and I believe that is why SBMM is turned up um, so high. But there's a lot of other underlying things like, for example, the camel grind. If you are trying to grind 100 headshots and you have kids that are sliding around, breaking your screen, diving out of windows, and using these cracked weapons, um, as opposed to jumping into a lobby where you have kids also trying to camel grind and also aren't doing great at the game, um, running at you with a baseball bat in a straight line where it's a free headshot... Um, it, it makes the camel grind very hard in today's modern SBMM landscape, which, again, I don't want it to be easy. You know, I don't want every game to be an absolute layup. Um, I do want competition that's going to, you know, at least shoot back at me. Um, but where the SBMM kind of faults is getting these super extreme lobbies that are 
leagues above however I'm playing at the time in casual guys. And it just goes back and forth, hard lobbies, couple easy lobbies, hard lobbies, and it just feels like the wild, wild west out here. But nine times out of ten, it's skating on the side of the lobbies being harder or higher skill. Um, now, before I go in too many circles there, what do I think we can do to maybe improve the SPMM landscape? I don't truly have a right answer to that. I'm willing to bet you developers don't either, and I'm willing to bet you 100% of the community doesn't either. Um, but I do not think where we're at now is perfect for casual gaming uh, because, again, not much of it feels casual, at least not in the lobbies that I'm in. But when you get down to it, guys, back in the day, lobbies did not feel this way. It really felt like there was always one or two really good people in each lobby. There was two or three kind of average people, and then there were one or two lower level people in each lobby. And with this philosophy, I always felt like there was always somebody in the lobby that everybody could kill. So lo lower level players might be putting up a bit of a lower kill to death ratio, but not every person on the enemy team is an absolute fiend just sliding around them and, and dancing on them. Um, and then you have the average players that are probably putting up around a 1KD, and then you have these really good players that get put in these mixed bag lobbies and can pretty much destroy anybody in the lobby. Um, that's at least how it felt, at least to my memory back in the day. Um, but you got to dial it back. You have to do something where I'm not playing kids that are absolutely cracked or you're getting the kids that are cracked put in the lobbies. I have no idea how you would do that, but you know we have all this all this AI and all these metrics, and I'm sure you can scan a lot of different things to see roughly where somebody should be so that the person sitting back, lounged back, laying down, playing on their couch um, can get into more like-minded lobbies, and then the people who are literally leaning forward, jacked up on all this caffeine, sliding around the map, can maybe get into similar lobbies. And then, you know, if you kind of flip that, you know, the cracked person's winding down, you know, it's 3 a.m., they just want to kick back, have some fun, the game can maybe monitor that, see that they're not playing the way they were, and then put them in these lobbies. I mean, I really don't know, guys. You can't do it. You can't make, like, separate playlists because you're just going to have the sweats going into the casual playlist. So, I mean, something has to be done. Maybe you make a mixed bag of everything I just said there, but I really don't think there's a clear fix, but I definitely think SPMM is a big enough topic and a big enough fault in a lot of modern games, especially for the casual player, where you have to find something to bridge the gap and not have it exactly be the way it is. But guys, I really don't know. Um, the SBMM Black Ops 6 has definitely felt really weird. It's felt really extreme at times, and it's made the camel grind kind of tough. And that's kind of why I just wanted to make a little conversation piece here to get some of my thoughts out there on SBMM, because I definitely haven't talked about it too many times on the channel. But also, I want to spur a conversation down in the comment section to hear from you guys and your thoughts, uh, because most of my friends are pretty similar skill players, and I'd say we're maybe slightly above average players, no pun intended, um, so I'd like to hear from some of the more casual audience, because not everybody out here is sweating trying to grind camos before rank comes out like I am, um, but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, normally a lot of Halo content, but with the launch of Black Ops 6 and rank dropping pretty soon, there's definitely going to be a lot of that here on the channel, so hit that sub button, leave a like on the video as well guys leave a comment share any and all of your thoughts on spmm no matter the game you play and then of course guys channel memberships and super thanks if you would like support in that way you don't see a lot at a, as a content creator but please do not feel like you have to but all right guys hopefully this one made sense hopefully i didn't go in circles too much here but uh spmm is a topic that is not going to be leaving game anytime soon um but hopefully we see some changes or improvements with some game out there anyways guys stay happy stay healthy and stay tuned for the next video y'all